Yeah, it's gone. Okay. So we work today, um, you know, your other two videos are, you know, your basic library, but we just did a couple of add-ons today in consideration of the kind of the more um, caved in side that you have on the right. So after we've worked on the softball, I'll do it your way. We worked on the softball, especially dialing in this right side and working with the tightness and tenderness over here. Then you can curl those toes under on the right and like, ooh, really lengthen the femur out of the thigh bone. Once you've done that, you can get that right arm. Oh, I probably should have been the other way. <laughs> <laughs> you can get that right arm. Oh, really lengthen that out too. So the leg is lengthened and the arm is lengthened. And you can let this knee bend up, press into that side. Oh. And then just make sure there is plenty of space between the right pelvis and the right rib cage. Oh. Really lengthen out through here and get ready. Because once you're here, you're gonna take a full breath in, mama out breath with your hands right here on the weak side, on the weak left side. Notice how my knees stay together. You can make this more gentle. If this feels too much, you can do one leg. It could be plenty at first and then just build up to. If you find yourself doing this, back off. Do one leg because your knees stay together the whole time so that the psoas and the quadratus on this weaker side have to work and at the same time you're stretching out this side. Now a really nice stretch for psoas is to lengthen out through that femur on that side. Let this knee bend up. Get that shoulder out from under you and then off. Mm. Open up here. It's a really good length for the right psoas. That's a beautiful thing to do. So at the end of your stability work, after you've worked a bit with this challenging bad boy, right, <laughs> which could eventually end up into this maybe, or this, or this, um, then you can take one paw print forward and think, okay, I'm going to inhale my way back and I'm going to think about filling that diagonal that needs to be filled. And then I'm going to exhale my way forward and really think about my left psoas coming to the center and my right ribs really knitting. And so as I inhale back and think, wow, lots of space from my left fingertips to my right hip. And as I come forward, really contracting that space, especially from my ribs on the right all the way to my left psoas. You can go back and forth several times. This bad boy, of course, eventually could end up doing some of these, right? But this is really a great way to work on your stability and your length, kind of in one single package uh, with a lot of safety. So remember to start your um, routine in a ritual fashion of opening. And then let yourself have a moment to close because that's what creates ritual that draws us mm. in. Good. Beautiful.